smart is the buzzword of today electronic systems and sensors for smart applications is the subject of today's presentation we realize that in the recent years there have been two trends one is increasing use of embedded intelligence and the other is networking of embedded intelligence within next 10 years it is expected that there will be lot of things which are happening which are big we have huge capacities of storage we have huge transfer rates of wireless communication and so on similarly there will be another one which is the small that is there are several smaller and smaller things which are going to happen we have the microelectronics which is working towards we have the microelectronics which is working towards miniaturizing the electronic components and devices and this electronic components they are helping making the sensors which are pervasive self powered sensor modes similarly there is a trend in terms of the chip everything is going to be cheaper especially when all the commodity prices in the market they are increasing we see that all the electronic products however have a downward trend say when at the entry a pc was introduced some 30 years back the price of the pc was ranging from 1 lakh to 2 lakh rupees at that instance however today we realize that the pcs whatever are available in the market they are much lower priced and with higher capacity same is the case with mobile phones same is the case with other electronic gadgets whenever they are introduced initially the price is seen to be high but later on the price drops and with better versions available so this cheapness is something which is going to drive the electronics the consequences of all this is pervasive embedded intelligence there are number of devices which are going to be seen and which already we are using the devices are on body so we are wearing lot of devices and with these devices our capabilities they are getting extended there are ad hoc sensors which are making our environment smart and in fact there are number of different types of sensors which are put in the environment they make the environment interactive they make the environment intelligent enough we have the adaptive wireless technologies and these wireless technologies these are essentially helping communication of various intelligent information and supporting the decision making we have similarly in home systems we have on the street system and so on there are some examples which are shown here these essentially integrate the electronics with the nervous system or there are miniature devices which are called as the mems devices micro electromechanical systems and these mem devices these are very small in size and these small size devices they have lot of advantages in terms of their response time in terms of their sensitivity in terms of their selectivity and so on electronic systems have virtually entered every sphere of our life may it be consumer electronics telecommunications automobiles medical instruments industrial control equipment defense aerospace electronics communication satellites data communication and internet appliances let's look at some of these devices say for example this is a programmable digital thermostat very much in use for say air conditioners or for ovens these kind of devices are seen and we can make use of this device for setting the desired temperature and internally the controller inside looks at the particular value of temperature and accordingly takes corrective actions to maintain it there is a cool drink vending machine in fact this is only one example but there are several such vending machines which are available made be for cold drinks made be for chocolates made be for snacks so these vending machines they are put in the public places one has to insert appropriate amount into it and push a button so that you get the delivery of the desired product this is a multi program toothbrush 
Now we know that toothbrush is a inherent part of our life and we make use of this toothbrush for the teeth cleaning purpose. This toothbrush however has a controller inside and this controller allows it to have the programming done and various kinds of programs which are possible so that you can clean the teeth appropriately. There is a coin changer wherein we have some bigger coins inserted or currency notes inserted and we can get delivery of the change. This is a MP3, MP4 player. We can have uh, such players as personal possessions and through this we can have a lot of music listened. There could be a handheld DVD player on which we can have various kinds of movies or entertainment devices or educational content available on the palm top. This is a robotic dog and this robotic dog we can see that it has got lot of intelligence, lots of functionalities are possible, various joints are controlled and through which we can get intelligent work done in more flexible manner. We have uh, such kind of say devices, robots uh, used in the play stations where uh, they, they pay, play say robo soccer and so on. This is a humanoid robo where we have uh, uh, exact functionality similar to a human being and uh, they, they perform various tasks. We know that such kind of humanoid robots they are useful at places where there is a danger for the human beings to operate and these devices they can work there and uh, they, they can uh, make the human beings safe. Another humanoid robot. There are various devices which are available in the medical domain these days and these are the implants in the human body and these implants they are supported with the electronic gadgets which are uh, one on human body at different places. Say for example, this is a pacemaker and it is directly uh, interacting with the heart muscles and strengthening the operation of the heart muscles thereby by, by providing pulses at regular intervals. This is another implant device which is uh, used for enhancing the functionality of the kidney. Such kind of uh, implants, the very small chip which is seen on the fingertip, this is available and these implant can be used as a insulin pump which is uh, either put on the skin of the persons. So, diabetic persons they can be essentially supported with such kind of insulin pump, implantable insulin pump and uh, one can essentially uh, get relief. Embedded systems are seen in automotives also, modern vehicle design is driven by the need of increased comfort, safety and security. As a result, automobiles are becoming intelligent and increasingly reliant on electronics. May it be a two wheeler, may it be a four wheeler, low end car, high end car, everywhere you would find that there is increasing use of electronics, especially the sensors and the control systems, they are helping these devices become better. Now, these devices in fact, they have uh, their use is increased to such extent that the modern cars almost 40 percent of the cost is associated with the electronic systems inside. Say for example, there is a safe and controlled driving support system. This is uh, provided with the help of different sensors mounted on different parts of the car. There is a parking assistant system, there is a pre-crash safety system, front end range radar system, back radar system uh, as well as the door opening sensor and so on. So, these help in identifying any kind of threat uh, during the driving and alerting the driver so that he can have a safe driving. The intelligent key is uh, basically keyless entry into a vehicle and this key as uh, part of the remote operation of the key locking system and uh, the security associated with it and the ease with which one can operate and one can enter into the car, the authentic persons are allowed to enter in the car. There are variety of uh, devices which are 
associated with this biometric assistance, there could be uh, authentication done by voice or skin texture or variety of things. While driving, uh, there is a possibility that if there is a turn and on the turn if the driver skill is not proper, it is likely that the car will topple, call car will skid. So, anti skid braking systems and uh, electronic control systems, stability control systems, they are in place and they uh, drive the vehicle safely irrespective of whether the driver has some skills uh, not to the proper level. There is another device which has uh, essentially been used uh, very extensively these days that is uh, basically a GPS receiver, a street pilot GPS receiver is shown here and we see that there is a map and we can at the start of the journey we can indicate where we want to reach and it will guide all through the travel. So, that there is uh, ease for the driving and one can reach the destination safely. The smart home, home automation or the home of the future are the buzzwords, but what do we do uh, with these, what really they mean? The smart homes offer convenient life, secure life, joyful life, affluent life. There are different parts of the smart home, security systems, lighting systems, environment control systems, domestic appliance control system, telecommunication systems, integrated management system, various service installations like gas, water, electricity, vacuum pump, vacuum cleaners, etcetera. So, all these different systems, they are part of the smart homes or the homes for current or future generations and in these, the comfortable living is always promoted, the security is also there. A smart home integrates a range of services including lighting, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, water, gas, electricity, centralized vacuum cleaner, home theater for the entertainment, distributed audio, motorized curtains and blinds, reticulation systems and wireless PC networks for connectivity with the outside world. Areas of lighting design are focused, where the lighting is primarily meant for visibility, but here essentially one can see that the lighting design is extended with task lighting systems, where task performance is important, mood and atmosphere lighting system, where according to the mood of the persons, the lighting system can be changed, it can change the atmosphere. It is primarily meant for visual comfort, but aesthetics also takes equal importance. Social interactions are helped by the lighting system. Health, safety and well-being is uh, also required to be taken care of while designing the lighting system. So, all these are essentially provided, these are the new options which are available with the availability of the electronic control systems. The lighting systems offer new facilities like turns on light automatically when needed. It could be a system based on uh, say the daylight and when the evening happens after twilight hours, the light automatically gets turned on or it is getting turned off. It draws the curtains when the dark comes. So, basically curtains are meant for seeing the things from outside uh, rather seeing the outside world. When the dark is there, there is no need of the views from outside. So, you can draw the curtain. It turns on automatically the lights on or off when the user enters or leaves the room, thereby saving energy, thereby saving power. It accommodates the intensity of artificial light sources depending on the desired level and on natural light intensity. It is uh, normally seen that norm, say if there are fixed light systems available, these fixed light systems they may be at times suitable for the particular kind of task that is going on, but uh, when the task changes the light intensity level should change and it is quite possible that the light intensity is already available as the daylight intensity or light from other sources and at that point there has to be a change in the artificial light source intensity. It turns on the lights uh, to simulate the user presence or to signal that a thief has broken 
the house etc. So, especially when people are going out and the house is locked, uh, it, these, these are the targets, soft targets for the thieves to enter in. Just to uh, simulate the presence of users at certain time intervals, if the lights are turned on during the evening or night hours turned on and off, there is a message given to the thieves that there is somebody present inside who is turning on and off the light. Such kind of patterns can be set and this is a very useful kind of system. Similarly, if the thief enters the house and tries to uh, steal certain things, his presence can be detected and uh, the alarms can be sent to the outside world. Maybe the neighbors can come in, maybe the police can be alerted by way of the light intensity variations. Lighting control is essentially affected by sensors in terms of occupancy sensor, daylight control systems or building light control systems as such which are integrated light control systems. Here we see some of the sensors which are used for the detection of the daylight or the occupancy of a room. There are systems which are designed and developed which are basically astronomy, astronomically uh, time clocked. So, astronomical time clock systems these are the ones which adjust to the sunrise and sunset timing on geographical locations. So, that you can essentially uh, fix these systems on the street lights especially because street lights otherwise with the fixed programs it is quite possible that uh, even when there is sunlight the lights will turn on or when there is a dark the lights may not turn on. So, to avoid such kind of uh, bad effects one can make use of these systems. The systems which are uh, say taking a big step ahead, these are the systems which are called as the telepresence system. It integrates videos, voice and graphics together and uh, with, with these essentially one can have variety of business meetings, variety of demonstrations, variety of educational sessions conducted and all this is possible with the electronic systems. All what is required is a high bandwidth communication link and graphics processors which can essentially create the appropriate vision. Virtual library is another uh, thing that is uh, being uh, made available with the electronic systems. We have Kindle say devices wherein you have all the knowledge in the world which can be brought in into a small device and we can read it anytime, anywhere as and when we require. The shopping is uh, one of the experiences which people enjoy. They go to different places and they essentially do the shopping by way of feeling, by way of seeing, by way of smelling and so on. All these kinds of uh, senses they can be brought in the electronic systems. You can see, you can touch, you can smell whatever you are buying and uh, this essentially you can do while sitting in your chair at your home comfortably. You need not go into the traffic and the things will be delivered when you finish your ordering. So, you have uh, these kinds of virtual shopping uh, kind of arrangements or devices through which you can carry out these. There are different sensors which are used in these uh, systems and these sensors they sense uh, different parameters say there could be electric or magnetic field sensors. They can be used for detecting presence, magnitude, orientation or content. There could be resistance or resistive sensors which can detect the presence, magnitude, displacement etcetera. There could be capacitive sensors, inductive sensors. And these all sensors they are integrated into devices. Say for example, a visual sensor like uh, visual camera and this camera is used everywhere. Number of places we find these days uh, there is a extensive use of uh, cameras, spy cameras or cameras which are fitted and they can be continuously recording the video clips and then they, that can be used for tracing back the events. There are color sensors 
which are available which can help in identifying the status. Say for example, we are working on uh, use of color sensors in identifying the ripeness of fruits or the state of ripeness of the fruits. There could be magnetic sensors, orientation sensors. We know that uh, the mobile phones or uh, tablets, they are orientation sensitive. These, these are basically because there is a orientation sensor which is there inside gravitational sensor and that essentially allows the mobile phone identify in which orientation it, it should show the display. GPS sensors are there, they, they provide the information on location, altitude etcetera. So, that there can be adaptation and uh, localized information that can be provided. There could be compass, there could be voltage sensors, current sensors, chemical sensors which are useful for different applications. Thus, today we have seen that the electronic systems and the sensors, they are making our lives much comfortable, much safe and they are providing variety of intelligent devices at much cheaper prices. It is quite interesting to study the details of all these subjects. Thank you.